My name is Kristen Crow, and I'm the Chief Community Officer for Scholarship Prep. And I support all of our social emotional learning as well as supporting our community partnerships and relationships. And a lot of those sports come specifically for our students experiencing homelessness with the foster care system. Food is basic need. <laughs> you know, a basic need that not everybody has access to. We are a community school too and we really live by that. So being able to be a support not just for our families, but to be a true support for the entire community, I think is, is what our, our mission is. So it was early on into when I started at Scholarship Prep. Obviously we had been just developing our McKinney Vento program and developing and seeing what the needs were for our family. A lot of it came through conversations with New Song Church at that time, part of their team who was building for more foster care supports and just more community needs. During pandemic time, New Song had really taken a lot of ownership to get the, the distribution moving still because we knew it was such a high need within the communities and communities all over. So it was amazing to be able to continue that partnership with them and they supported it through the pandemic. And now, the food is different every week. It just really goes on what Second Harvest has for that week, but it's a pretty wide selection of fresh fruit and vegetables. While they also have some non-perishable items, it might be you know some cookies or coffees or, or things like that, but I wanna say it's around 10,000 pounds of food each time. So it's a pretty large impact. You're talking you know thousands of folks each month. At each distribution, I wanna say there's maybe about um, anywhere from 250 to 400 families that we serve each time, and it rounds out to being maybe between 1,500 to 3,000 people. So we know that that is a big piece to the community and who we are. We know that our just location within Santa Ana, we're a nice access point of, of support for the food pantries and that consistency for myself, because I know for a lot of our families, I do look through where food pantries are across Orange County and where they can go to, and it's ever changing, which is really hard. Being a part of one of those food distributions that is constant and that is consistent, um, I think is a huge support for our families and for the community. Um, what we're looking at doing um, moving forward is trying to really build a true farm farmers market. So having that distribution piece for the food, but then also having a lot of our resource tables and a lot of our organizations that want to support families in other ways. Really seeing how much effort and how much teamwork it required putting something like this together and not, not saying, hey, we're doing this once a year. It was, all right guys, we're doing this you know, every other week or once a month. When we first started, I mean, I was calling on from every home office employee to anybody is, hey, you're free right now. Can you please come help? And we need to get this distribution up and going. But really seeing within our, our school, uh, our school community that everybody was like, all right, let's do this.